Welcome to the Immigrant's Way podcast with the immigration attorney, Margaret W. Wong, with over 40 years of experience. Enjoy. Today's topic is perm bar. So what is a perm bar? Perm bar is what we call a permanent bar. So for example, I came to America legally with a tourist visa in America. It's only good for six months, but I overstayed by another year. And then I left and I came back again legally with another tourist visa. Then you don't incur term bar, which means that if my spouse or fiance or my boss wants to hire me, I could still get a green card either through DS 260 or through 485 with 944, and I can still get a green card. Perm bar is a new law that it's not new. Um, it's really started. Uh, it started really in April '97, becoming effective in April '98, and really becoming a very very hot topic in maybe by 2002 to 2005. Mostly, it's against the Mexican national because for, there's only two contiguous uh, persons in this country. You either are Canadian or Mexico. Mexicans. So Mexicans coming to America, you need a visa. So if they came undocumented, stay more than a year, left America, and all that has to happen after April of 97. So let's assume I came to America in May of 97, left America after May of 98. Then I came back to America in like 2001. Now my U.S. born wife wants to sponsor me, I would not be able to get a green card because I came undocumented. I stayed, I stayed more than a year and I left and came back undocumented. Another scenario, if I came legally in April 97, I left and overstayed. Of course I overstayed because if I came legally, they only give me six months. So I left in April 99, so I overstayed for one and a half years. I came back in 01, this time also with documents. That means I came inspected and admitted with a tourist visa or paroled. Then I can still get the green card because I incur no perm bar. Perm bar only means that I came legally or illegally the first time. I overstayed for more than a year. I left America and I came back undocumented. If that happens, which happened, you know, if a lot of Mexican, because in those days we make enough money, we go back home for Christmas and New Year for a wedding, and you see it in all the movies. And then you come back and then you make enough money, you go back to visit your sick mother, your dying father, and you came back. Those are all prom bar cases. For Canadians, it's different because can Canadians, just like us Americans going up to Toronto for some food, for Chinese food, for Latino food, for Japanese food, you don't need a visa. For Canadians coming to America, you don't need a visa. So for Canadians, there's practically no perm bar. Under circumstances, you're a perm bar, but very rare. But for Mexicans, it's a problem. And also from the undocumented people from South, for Central America, Guatemala and El Salvador and mm -hmm. The third country, if you come up through Mexico and came in undocumented, but most Central Americans, they don't leave because if they leave, they couldn't come back because it's a long trek from those three countries. And also from the Venezuelans, from the uh, Brazilians, if they come illegally through Mexico, normally they don't leave. Like the Chinese, if we come illegally through Mexico, we don't leave because it's a long way back home and how do we come back? So mostly the perm bar applies to Mexican nationals and try not to incur perm bar. Like that kid who came legally, was caught illegally working, left and fiance wants to bring him back, stay there because once you come in, documented again, even though you're successful, you won't get the green card for more than 10 years or ever. Because with expeditious removal and perm bar is a big problem. We as lawyers have been trying to argue these cases. Right now, nobody's winning because it's a very strict law. It's really to reduce American budget for multiple entries undocumented.